Did you just finish shooting a video and had the perfect audio for it? Have some little spots that maybe you want to put some B-roll or photos in? Let me show you how to do that in Canva. Come on, let's go. The first thing you're going to need to do is upload your videos if you have not uploaded them already, which you can go right here into uploads and upload your files into Canva. So after you've done that, I have two videos here of my pups. So the first thing we want to do is find where we want to split the video. So let's look into here. This is Sleepy Sam and he likes, so he likes, and then I want to split it there. So I'm going to go down and split my page. The next thing I want to do, chicken, so chicken, I'm going to split the page now. I'm going to go into my little split section here and then I'm going to go up here and find a chicken. Let's do, we'll do this, or we can go into photos. You can put a photo there. Let's see, chicken. And then what you want to do here, if your audio is attached to your video, the one thing you don't want to do is delete that video, right? Because you're going to lose your audio. So what you can do is click on your, your video right here, and you're going to take the transparency all the way down to zero. Now it's just your photos or your chicken 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 so now when i go through and play i don't lose the audio and he likes chicken and duck so that's how you do that for that one so now if you have a voiceover you created in canva let's go over to look little ninigoo right here and as you can this see is many she's my here is a voiceover i created in canva so when you split something here, official secretary when I'm in the office. So I want to split and put something there. Let's say I want to put a little video. Um, I'm going to split the page and we'll go in here. She likes cheese. And let's say here, I want to split the page. So now what I want to do is I'm going to hide my audio. But what I can also do is I'm going to take this and I can detach this video from the background and I can delete it. And now I can put, let's go into a video, cheese, free cheese, cheese. I put this to the background, place the background here. I'm going to shorten it up because cheese is very small. And then I'm going to get my timing back on my official secretary when I'm in the office. She likes cheese and naps. So that's how you do that and add those in there. And that's how you do a video. Um, also, if you ever have voiceovers in Canva, you always get one of these if you don't use a picture. And the easiest thing to do with those right there is take that down. I usually take it down. I always keep it in the same corner just in case I ever need it. And take the transparency down to zero. And that'll just hide those things. But keep them there. Same thing here if you want to take a video that's already got audio, but you want to keep the audio within the video. Just split the page, split the page again. Here's a piece where you want to put a video, photo, or whatever. What you want to do is go in here, take the transparency down to zero, and then even if you want to change the background color there, let's change the background color, it's going to show the video is going to be here. So you can have that audio. So see you have the audio. And ducks. His favorite toy is a so you don't lose the audio, you still have the video and you can put whatever you want in there. And if you do a video clip and it's too too long, you're gonna have to kind of back it up so you and match your audio back up, but that's okay. And that's how you do that. And my name is Michelle. Thank you for stopping by. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.